Hey folks, so we're going to work right now on the union presentation. A couple of tips before I started. Um, you always want to have the members, uh, the member and his wife or husband sit down at the kitchen table or dining table. You want to avoid at all costs making presentations in the living room. Okay? That is not a place in the house that families make important decisions. So you always want to uh, point them and direct them to the kitchen or dining table. And it's, you can do it in a very simple way. Simply as you walk in, is um, Jim, we're going to we're going to need a table, or we're, we are going to be more comfortable at your table. Do you have a kitchen table that we can use? And you say it like that, and it's and people usually always agree. It's like, yeah, sure, no problem. Come to the kitchen table, right? Um, or the dining table. Okay. And the other important thing is you want to have them sit down to your right. If you're right-handed, I have them sit down to my right. Okay, as opposed to one here and one there where you have to turn and talk to both of them like that. You want to avoid that at all costs, right? So you want to always have them sit down to your right or to your left if you're left-handed, okay? Uh, but never, never, never in the case where you are in the middle, okay? So even when you do get to the kitchen table, you want to seat yourself and uh, ask them to, uh, to take a seat where you want them, right? Uh, and you do it in a very subtle way and I say, you know, why don't I sit here and then Jim and Mary, you folks can sit on that side, right? And when you say it like that, it's uh, you know it's a reasonable request. People usually always agree with it. Okay. So now starting with the union presentation. So uh, Jim, how many years have you been in the union? About ten. Okay, great. What type of work do you do now? Framing. Wonderful. And how long have you been doing that? About fifteen years. Great. And uh, Mary, do you work outside the home? Great. What do you do? Supply teaching? Wonderful. Great. Now, uh, Jim, do you get involved with the union? Do you go to all their meetings or read the newsletters? You don't? Okay. Uh, this is the letter that they sent you recently. Do you recognize that? You do? Great. And this is that reply card that you send back. Is that your handwriting? It's Mary's? Okay. Yeah. Great. Let me ask you, is this the first time that you sent in this card? It is? Great. Let me explain to you from the beginning then. Your union is having a group enrollment. The first thing that occurs is that they send you the letter. You send back the reply card, and that's quite frankly why I'm here now. In the group enrollment, Jim and Mary, certain benefits open up to all the members. Okay. In my job, our job is really very simple. All we do is deliver and explain the benefits that you, as members, are entitled to. I work for American Income Life. We happen to be 100% union, and we only work with unions. You probably never heard from us before today. And that's because we never advertise on TV or radio. The only time we come out is when there's a group enrollment. And when the member, in this case yourself, Jim, sends back that reply card. We do not visit all the members because, first of all, there's too many, right? And also, we work with many other unions, not just Local 183. We have the TTC, uh, ATU 113, uh, and many other unions like the Local 506, the firefighters, etc. So we don't have the time to visit all the members. So the agreement that we made with the unions is the members like yourself, Jim, who send back that reply card, uh, will receive a one-time courtesy visit from us to deliver the, the supplemental benefits package and explain them to you folks and answer any questions that you may have about the enrollment, okay? So with your permission, I'll do that right now. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, okay? The first benefit that's been done for you at no cost is this accident policy. It is through American Income Life. Local 183 added a $2,000 accident policy for all the dues paid members and retirees. Okay, This is not contributory and non participating. That means there's no contribution required, Jim. We're going to put Mary as the beneficiary. Smith. Wife. And your birthday here, Jim, January 31st, 1967. That's still the same. That doesn't change, I guess, right? Just sign this here for you. Okay. And you're going to keep this today. Your autograph there at the bottom. Great stuff. So I'm just going to create a little pile of stuff here that we're going to set aside, okay? The next thing that we give to all the members is this card addressed to Human Resources Development of Canada. That's a new name for the Canada Pension Plan. Simply put your name, address, and a stamp here. Send it out. It says here, please send to me at my address shown below an application for the Statement of Earnings for the Canada Pension Plan. This is going to get you back in the system so that every year you receive your statements. Just make sure there's no mistakes that everything that you have been paying into it has been properly credited to you. Okay? 
So it's one for each of you, since you both contribute to CPP. That stays with you. The next is your family eye care. It is through Hakim Optical, okay? Uh, you'll be able to receive 30% on top of your, 30% uh, discount on top of your benefits through the union or through work, okay? It is simply a discount card that you're going to show and be able to get an immediate discount of 30%, okay? Let me just activate this for you folks here. And it's good for yourselves and for any children, okay? And it covers uh, regularly priced prescription eyeglasses, sunglasses, and most contact lenses, okay? And inside you'll find the list of locations, just find the nearest to you, all right? That stays with you. Any questions so far? Okay, great. The next thing that we would ask to give you folks is the simple piece of paper. However, it's one of the most important ones you can have in your home today. It's called Family Information Guide. It is provided through our company, American Income. It is important information and instructions. This one's confidential. Not only will you fill this out on your own time after I leave, once you do fill it out, it stays with you at home. Okay? I'll just go through it very quickly. It's one for each of you so that you both can fill out your information. On the top here, Jim, put your full name, social insurance number, Union Local 183. Your membership number is very important that you put down here too. Spouses, vital statistics, that's uh, your name, Mary, goes there. Persons to be notified. Uh, do you folks have any family in the area, like brothers, sisters, parents? Your parents are here? Yours are not? Okay. Whereabouts? BC? Okay. How about brothers and sisters? Do you have a brother here in the area? Another one in Brampton? Okay. And how about yourself, Mary? In BC? So the whole family's in BC. Yeah. yeah. Well, the reason I'm asking is because, obviously, Jim, if something happens to you, Mary would be in charge and vice versa. But if, God forbid, something happens to both of you, who would be in charge of the kids? Have you thought of that? Probably your brother in Brampton? Okay. So you want to put his name down here. Okay. Last will and testament. Have you done your will? You haven't? It's very important. When you get that done, you want to write it down here. The state information deals with life insurance and group coverage. Do you have life insurance, Jim? You do? Great. Is it group or private? Both? Wonderful. Is your private whole life or term? A bit of both? Great. And which company do you folks deal with? London Life and Bank? CIBC? Great. So you want to put here both? The policy number? And what is your coverage amount? 250, that's a great start. Okay, so put, hand, put down here 250,000. And Mary, do you have coverage too? You do? Great. Is it the same? Just do the bank? Okay, put it down here. Okay. Group coverage is the coverage that you have through the union. In case yourself, in this case yourself, you have it through the school board. Okay? So that one you can write down here too. Just keep in mind that group coverage expires once you leave the group. Okay? Did you know that? You didn't? Most members are not aware. So, did you, you just want to write it down here. Banking information is your accounts, saving, checking accounts, go in that area. Save the pasta box, do you own one? You don't, so you can leave that blank. If you ever get one in the future, you can include the information there. And funeral service requests is an area that many people don't like to talk about, but it's important. Uh, have you taken care of your funeral and final expenses? You haven't? It's important. Life is like a bubble, you never know. In the future, if you make a plan to alleviate that for your family, you can write it down here. Even if you don't, at least write your wishes down. For example, Jim, do you know if you want to be buried or cremated? You'd like to be buried. And how about yourself, Mary? Buried too? Traditional. You want to write it down, though. They have a saying, the shortest pencil is better than the longest memory. Always best to write things down. Sign it, date it, this stays with you at home. Any questions on the guide? Pretty clear? Wonderful. So. I got one for each of you here. Okay, great. Now, Jim, because you're a member in good standing with the union, they do allow you to extend your no cost benefit package to your immediate family. That is, of course, your wife brothers, sisters, and parents, okay, and any children over the age of 18. The only conditions are the following. The family members that you extend your benefits to have to be, one, over 18 years of age, two, living outside your home, 
and three living in the same territory. So if we're here and right now in Mississauga, your family members have to be either in Mississauga or Brampton, even Toronto, basically the surrounding territory. Okay. So the first one is of course extended to yourself, Mary. This is the only difference, Jim. You as the union member receive two thousand dollars accidental policy. The family members receive half the amount, one thousand dollars. Okay. So Mary Smith, Jim will be the beneficiary. Mary. So one hand washes the other. Husband. Okay. And your date of birth, Mary? Yeah, February 14th, Valentine's Day, 1969. So double whammy for you there, Jimmy. We gotta get her two gifts. <laughs> Local 183. Frank, you mentioned you have a brother in Brampton? What's your brother's name? Joe Smith. Great. And that's in Brampton. What street? Okay. 30. Jubilee Court. Jubilee. J U B I L E E. Court. Jubilee Court. Okay. And it's phone number? 905 495 5025. Yeah. What is Joe's birthday? Four years older than me, okay. So he would be 1963. Yeah. August 1st. Great. Okay, I'll give this to Joe. And what is Joe's occupation? Work for the city, yeah. City of Brampton, Toronto, okay. Garbage collection, okay. Yeah. And is he single or married? Married? His wife's name? Kim? Okay. And do they have children? Yeah, two. Boys? Yeah, 15 and 12 year old. Okay, great. Okay, so we'll get this out to Joe. And you say your mom and dad also in Brampton? Great. What's your dad's name? Mark Smith. And that's also in Brampton. This is three hours for your dad? Thirty-seven, Maslin Head Crescent. Okay. Phone number nine zero five eight four zero eight two eight nine three. Mark Smith's son. Your his son, James. Okay, your dad's birthday. Yeah, March twentieth, nineteen forty. You think your dad's retired now, right? That's good. Okay. So we'll get this out to your dad. Okay. And your mom's name? Shirley. Yeah. They're the same address as your dad and everything. Okay, good. So we'll put those together. And yeah, and your mom's birthday? Yeah, April 9, 1948. Okay, and uh, is your mom uh, retired? Well, she's not. She works part time. Oh, yeah? Home Depot? Okay. Okay, any other family in the area? That's it. And you said your family's in BC. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to get to them uh, for the service. Okay, no problem. So we'll get this out to Joe and both your, your parents, okay? And what this will do basically is the $2,000 accident policy for yourself, okay, will be worth 1000 for Joe and your parents, okay, as well as the Hakeem Optical Discount, the Family Information Guide, and the CPP card. Those will be delivered to them by me, okay? Just let them know that Byron will be in touch with them probably sometime tomorrow or the next few days, okay? And the last thing is what's the best time to call Joe? Evening? Okay, so call PM. Oh, he works weekends too, so he's off in the week sometimes? No problem. Yeah. And your mom and dad are retired, so the best time to call is during the day. Signature here, Jim, on the third line of each certificate. 
say that you want to sponsor your family members into the program. Great. Done with those? Wonderful. So let me just put these aside as well. Now, Jim, I'm just going to go over the benefits that you're entitled to. These are the benefits that the union saw, likes, and wants all the members to be informed about during this enrollment. They actually mention them here at the bottom. You and your family may qualify for additional insurance benefits offered at this time. American Income Life and its programs are offered to help our members. Please take a few minutes to listen to the AL representative who will be calling on you. If you have any questions, call them at these numbers here. Okay? Now, before I go into these benefits, Jim and Mary, I just need to ask you folks a couple of questions to make sure what applies and what doesn't apply to you folks. Jim, so you said you joined the union about 10 years ago. Okay. Let me frame it. Your birthday is January 31st, 1967. That makes you... And you work full time on that, Jim? You do? Great. And your hourly wage? Twenty-seven nineteen. Great. And Mary, your birthday since Valentine's Day. Nineteen sixty-nine. That makes you thirty-eight. Great. You're a supply teacher. Okay. You do that full time, right? And um, do you get paid by the hour or you're in salary? Salary? Okay, what's your annual income? 28000 Okay. Now, do you folks uh, use cigarettes? Do you smoke cigarettes? You don't? Not smokers? Good for you. Now, do, the, do either of you have or is there any history in your family of any of the following conditions? Any type of heart trouble? No? Diabetes? Yes. Your mom's side, Mary? Okay. Yourself? No. Good. High blood pressure? No. You said, okay, your mom's side too? Yes. Tuberculosis? No. That's good. Cancer? Both sides? Sorry about that. Okay. Yourself? No. Good. Drug or alcohol abuse? No. Any drinking and driving charges? No. Any other arrests? No. Great. Hepatitis? No. Great. Wonderful. So knock on wood so you stay healthy, okay? The reason we ask these health questions is all of these programs are based on two things, and those are your present day age and your health condition. Nothing changes in the future. If you qualify for the benefits, they stay with you for the rest of your life. In addition, these benefits stay with you even if you leave the union tomorrow. And it's guaranteed that we will age and not guaranteed that we'll always maintain this uh, good state of health, right? Should your health change in the future, the nice thing about the benefits is that they'll remain the same. Okay? Any questions so far? Good. Now, before I go into the benefit program, this is our union officer report form. Jim, after I finish presenting these benefits to you and Mary, to you folks, we ask you to complete this uh, report form that will eventually be sent back to the union just to let them know that we were here and we did our job, okay? And ask you questions about the program on this year, to ask you what's the best part of the program. The reason we ask you this is because based on your answers, we may make changes to these programs from, from the years to come, right? Uh, and also, because we only come out once to see everyone during this enrollment period, we ask that if you like the benefits, more importantly, if they take care of areas that you haven't yet taken care of for your family, that you let us know tonight so we can help you get them started tonight. If you don't like them, that's okay too, right? Just let us know either way, yes or no. Fair enough? Awesome. So, I'm just going to illustrate the package, which is the package that we illustrate to all the members. This package is for $25 a week. $25 a week comes to $100, $102.02 per month. Would you folks be able to save $25 a week? 
You would? Great. Right. It's an example, really. Where you start has to be what's comfortable for you. You could always go up or you can go down, okay? As a two-sided program, the first area of concern is one side is protection, the other side is accident and hospitalization. The first area of concern is in the area of final expenses. Do you folks know what final expenses are? Well, someone's final expenses are basically the expenses when they die. Okay, so Jim, your final expenses are going to be Mary's first expenses. The biggest chunk of the final expenses happen to be the funeral costs. Have you folks ever had a funeral in your family? How long ago was that? Okay, sorry to hear that. Um, the question is not if, but rather when we die. This is the first expense families have to cover. Okay, now Mary, in Jim's case, you'd have to find the closest funeral home and start dealing with the funeral director. One of the first things that they will demand from you is of an immediate payment for all the services that they will render to you. Okay, so that means that you want the whole amount, the whole amount up front, or at least a 50% deposit. Uh, were you folks aware of this? You were. That's great. Most people are. Now, the good thing though is that most people nowadays do have some sort of insurance, either through work or privately. The thing about insurances is, is that they don't pay out right away to your family. So if you died Wednesday, that doesn't mean Thursday the company is going to cut a check for your family. Okay. It typically takes two or three weeks before they see any money coming from the insurance company. However, they do have, within the first 24 hours, take care of the funeral expenses. Okay? So what we came up with to simply help members during this time is something simple. It's something called freedom of choice. Freedom of choice is simply a funeral benefit plan that Jim, if he qualify for the benefits, Mary, you're going to have this certificate that you can take to any funeral home in the country. Okay? You would give this to the funeral director. He would call our company to verify your plan is active, Jim. I sign it here at the front. Okay? Mary, you'd sign the back where it says uh, beneficiary, just like you're signing a check, quite honestly. And put the name of the funeral in the cemetery that you'd like to use. Now, now this is when the good door calls Jim. Okay? This will act as an immediate form of payment to take care of Jim's expenses. Okay? The important thing here, though, is that it has a budget. So you'll decide on a budget on an amount that you feel is adequate and enough to help the family take care of the expenses. Okay? You don't want to leave that uh, till the last minute because uh, families are always at their weakest emotional point and they will, they will be dealing with the funeral director who is a person in business. And people in business want to make money by selling goods and services. right? However, keep in mind that families, when they're taking care of the funeral, they are always at the weakest emotional point. Okay? And that's why you have a budget there. It's also called freedom of choice. That means that they'll take care of the expenses according to your wishes. So, Jim, you mentioned you'd like to be buried. Let's suppose in the future you change your mind and you say you'd like to be cremated. Either way, they can take care of the expenses. And the money left in the budget simply goes back to the family. Okay? Any questions on this uh, freedom of choice? Pretty clear. Jim, if you qualify, okay, the freedom of choice final expense benefit in this example would be of twenty-five thousand. Okay. Now, what I mentioned to you, this is the budget. So, if you use less than the budget, for example, Mary, if you only use ten uh, ten thousand, fifteen would come back to you. Okay. Any questions on this? It's pretty clear. Jim, Mary, do you see how this can help your family when the day comes? You do. Great. Now, Jim, when there's loss of life, there's also loss of income. That paycheck that you bring home to take care of the bills in the family stops coming in. Now, Mary, can I ask you a question? How important is Jim's paycheck to you and the kids? Pretty important, right? Have you ever thought what would happen if that paycheck was gone? Right. Well, the bottom line is, is paycheck means livelihood takes care of everything, right? The food you put in the table, the roof over your head, the bills, everything. Should you die, we can't replace you, but at least your paycheck or your income. Not for a lifetime, but at least for a period of time so that your family can readjust, okay? This is called readjustment time, and that's what we call it a readjustment income, okay? In this example, this would provide a readjustment income to your family of $3,000 per month for the next 24 months. 
Jim married, this would be this would be tax free income coming in, okay? Uh, this is over and above twenty five thousand for the funeral costs, okay? They'll simply keep the family going for a period of two years. One or two months are not enough for a family to readjust. So in two years' time, perhaps you can uh, marry, perhaps you can downsize your home, sell this house and go into a smaller home, stay home with the kids, you know, and see what your next step in life will be. Okay? Any questions on the readjustment income? Do you see how this can help your family in the future? You do? Great. Jim, you're nowhere near old age and you're in perfect health. If something happens to you now, it is more likely that it would be due to an accident. If you die in an accident, okay, the benefit goes up from 25000 to 95000 okay, plus the readjustment income of 3000 per month for the next 24 months, okay? Auto, you drive to work every day, right? So if it's a car accident, whether passenger or driver in any type of vehicle, okay, the benefit would go up to 115000 plus the readjustment income of $3,000 per month for the next 24 months. Okay? And common carrier, that's anything that you pay a fare to ride, the public, public transportation, the TTC, commercial airlines like JetBlue, Air Canada, anything like that, common carrier benefit would be $175,000, Jim. plus the readjustment income of 3000 per month for the next 24 months. Okay. Any questions on all these numbers here? It's pretty clear? Great. Now what members like about the programs is that you don't have to die in order to collect. God forbid you get into an accident. You do not die, but end up in the hospital. This will pay you directly $200 per day for up to 365 days that you're in the hospital due to any accident or injury anywhere, anytime, you're covered 24-7, okay? $400 per day for the first 14 days in the ICU, okay? If you're still in the hospital after 14 days, it simply goes back to $200 for the remainder of the stay. And $100 per visit to the emergency room coming from any accident or injury anywhere, anytime, you're covered 24-7, okay? Now these benefits here have three guarantees. The first guarantee is that they are tax-free. The second guarantee, okay, is that they are paid directly to you. So when we say it is $200 per day up to a year in the hospital, that means that if you are in a car accident and stay in the hospital for five days, this will pay you directly $1,000, okay? tax-free, paid directly to you. Not to pay the hospital, because remember, you have your health card, which covers all hospital expenses, okay? But the health card, or the OHIP, okay, which is the Ontario Health Insurance Program, or plan, pays the hospital. It doesn't put money in your pocket. This does, okay? And last but not least, all these benefits and amounts go above and beyond group plans. So they go above and beyond local one and three benefits, and they go above and beyond your school board benefits. Okay. Any questions on this side? Pretty clear. Wonderful. Jim, nowadays there's no such thing as job security, so anyone could be laid off. And in the construction business, sometimes there is a slower season. So, should you be laid off, okay, we will cover the twenty-five dollars a week or a hundred dollars per month for up to three months, okay, or ninety days, okay. So during that period of time, ninety days, we will make the deposits for you. You're still fully covered should something, God forbid, happen. And after three months, you pick up where we left off. You don't owe anything. Okay? The same thing applies if there's a strike. Should the union go on strike and that cuts your hours or affects your income, okay? We will cover the $25 a week or $100 a month for up to 365 days or a year or whenever the strike uh, is over, okay? And after that, when things go back to normal, you pick up where we left off, okay? Any questions on the strike or layout? Great. Now, Jim, Mary, this is an example I used using the amount of $25 a week. That comes to $102.02 per month. The great thing about this program is that it can be made into a family package, okay, for as little as $5 more per week. 
to bring this up to 125 per month. Mary, you'll be covered in this area for final expenses for the same amount, 25,000. Okay. And the kids, your boys will be covered for 10,000 each until they're 21. Okay. Jim, were you covered for 95,000 on accidental plus the readjustment income of 3,000 for the, for the next 24 months? Mary, you will be covered in that area for 45,000. Okay. And the kids will be covered in that area for 14,000 each. Times two. Jim, were you are covered for 115,000 for auto debt plus the readjustment income of 3,000 per month for the next 24 months? Mary, you will be covered here for 65,000 and the boys will be covered, God forbid anything happens to them, 18,000 times two, okay? And common carrier, a bus, a train, a plane, Jim, you're covered for 175,000 plus 3,000 per month for the next 24 months. Mary, you'll be covered for 125,000 and the kids will be covered for 30,000 each until they're 21. Okay, any questions on this side? Pretty clear, great. Again, the whole family will pick up the $200 a day benefit. So Mary, you're also covered for $200 a day up to you in the hospital. And your two boys are covered as well for $200 per day, okay? $400 for the first 14 days in the ICU, extends to the whole family. If after 14 days, family member is still in the hospital, it goes back to $200 for the remainder of the stay. And $100 per visit to the emergency room, Jim and Mary, covers yourselves and the boys. Now, you, I know you mentioned I saw some skates at the door. Are they into hockey? Well, guess what? Anytime they get hurt and they need stitches, okay, or, you know, they have a broken bone or anything like that, that you take them to the emergency room, you'll be able to collect $100 on their visits, okay? And that's important, too, because, you know what? If your kids get hurt, it is you who has to go there and take them to the hospital and be there with them, okay? So you're entitled to claim $100 on them as well. How that works is we try to make everything easy for the members by leaving you a package like this one, a folder that is, with address envelopes from the company and claim forms for the hospital benefits. So should something happen, Jim, all you have to do is come back home, fill out the front of this claim form. You must attach some sort of paperwork from the hospital proving that you were there. Typically you want to get an emergency treatment record or a patient discharge instructions uh, sheet. That's enough for the company because it has the logo of the hospital and all the information so that they can call and verify that you, Mary, or the boys were in the hospital. You attach it to this, you fill out the front, you know, send it in the envelope, uh, uh, put it in the envelope, and send it by mail. It's gonna take seven business days for American Income to verify your claim from the time they receive it. And once they have verified it, they do a direct deposit to your account. Uh, for whichever benefit you're claiming, okay? So that's how that works. Okay. Uh, so that's all included for the $25 a week or $102.02 per month. In addition, Jim and Mary, these benefits contain what's called the Emergency Loan Fund. The Emergency Loan Fund is simply something that starts in the policy after you've had it for three years, okay? So once you had it for three years, Typically, the policy will have uh, a fund within the policy that you can always access should you need it, should you have an emergency. Uh, it starts at a few hundred dollars and it builds up every year, okay? And that's money that you can always take out, okay, as a loan, okay? It's not a loan that you have to repay to the company. The only thing that would happen is that it will reduce some of your benefits, okay? But that's also contained in the policy, all right? So. I took an example using $25 a week. It takes four to six weeks to find out if you qualify for all these benefits. If you do, this is an amount that they take from your savings or your checking account once a month, okay? If you don't, they simply do a full refund of your premiums, okay? Uh, you can start, Jim, at the, for the, uh, with the basic program of $25 a week, okay? Which will include all the numbers for yourself. Or you can throw in the extra $5 to make it a full family plan. Choice is yours, you tell them. You put your pen down, and this is when you silence, okay? They have to be the next ones to speak. Uh, so this is basically the closing, but the closing begins. But this is my union presentation, uh, and this is how the T looks like. I don't know if you can probably see from there, but it's very well spaced out. And it's very important that 
you go through it once with the member. Once you've gone through it, you can use, depending on what package you're showing, I'm typically showing $100 on him, and then a $5 a week spouse rider, including a child rider, uh, $4 a week on the spouse, and a dollar a week of uh, the child rider, to throw in the whole family plan there, right? But when I go through her numbers, I'm repeating his numbers as well, right? So in case he didn't catch it the first time, he caught it the second time, right? Uh, and then I, and then that's why my page is full of numbers, right? So you want to make sure that you space them out very well, okay? And at the end, during the close, when you're closing, you have, you must give the option between something or the other, right? It's not just, okay, this is what it is. What do you think, right? It has to be, Jim. This is an example I took using twenty-five dollars a week. You can start at this basic program, or you can include the extra five dollars to make it a full family plan. So I'm giving him the choice, the 25 or with the extra 5, right? So then in his mind, he has to answer that question. And if you've done a good presentation, they're seeing value in the benefits that you're showing them. They're seeing that they can use this in the future. And that's why the questions, every time I explain something, the freedom of choice, do you, see if you, uh, do you feel that this is something that your family can use in the future? Or do you feel this is something that can help your family? It's a yes or no answer. If they answer yes, that yes is stored there, right? So all along they know these are things that they will use or can use, okay? So that's the union presentation. The next thing I want to talk about uh, is referrals, okay? It starts, of course, in uh, obtaining referrals when you're in the home. It is part of the presentation, okay? You should always, always ask for referrals, always, because it is in the presentation, right? Deviation from the presentation will cause you not to get referrals, right? Uh, referrals are part of the business. Uh, the, insurance comp uh, the insurance industry runs on referrals. Now at American Income Life, we have a wonderful lead system that allows us to go into people's homes without you know, a lot of work, really, right? But um, that doesn't mean we don't have to collect referrals, okay? Now, in my union presentation, you notice that I collect referrals right after the family information guide. And there's a reason why I do that. When I am going through the family information guide, okay, and I get to the point where it says persons to be notified, okay, this is when I ask them, Jim, Mary, do you have any family in the area? Now, before they answer that question, I say, Jim, Mary, do you have any family in the area? Your brother, sister, parents? I say that. So they will automatically say, yes, my dad, my mom are here. I have a brother in this area and I have a sister in that area, or no, I don't. They're all in another country or far away from here, whatever the case may be, right? What I do with that information is whatever they tell me at that point, I store it in my mind so that when it comes time for me to ask for the referrals, I already know that they have family in the surrounding territory that I want to get as a referral, okay? In addition, um, in my presentation, I, uh, I do a, a bit of small talk where I'll ask someone, in, in a, in a, they're immigrants, and working in the city of Toronto or surroundings, you're going to find that this city is made up by immigrants, right? Or if not, first generation, second generation, right? Or pure immigrants, like myself. <laughs> so um, what it is, is that you want to ask them, yeah, so how long have you been here? Is your family also here? Things like that. So. That already tells me whether or not these people have family around that I can get later on as referrals, okay? But going back to the basic here is I finish the family information guide. I get to the referral part. You always do the wife first or the husband first. That's always the automatic referral. Now, it's not really a referral, but it's just an automatic one. And then once you do the, let's say, Mary, I go Jim. You mentioned you had a brother in the area. What's your brother's name? And you look down, and you simply expect him to tell you the name. Okay. When you're looking down, you're expecting. When you're looking up, you're asking. At this point in time, you've explained to him because you're a good member, because you're a member in good standing with your union, you are allowed to extend these no-cost benefit programs to your immediate family and friends at no cost. Okay. What does this include? So Jim, they'll receive the Hakeem Optical Discount, 
the family information guide, the CPP card, and the certificate for accident. Okay? The only difference is you receive $2,000, they will receive $1,000 that comes in the form of the certificate. Right? The first one goes to Mary, you fill that, that one out automatically. The next, the next one goes to Joe, your parents, and all that. Right? So that's how you collect the referrals. Okay? Now, once you have the referral, you want to let them know that you are going to call, call them the next day or within the next few days, and that you will deliver the certificate to them, as well as the rest of the benefits that you've delivered to him at no cost. Okay? Another important thing that I do in, uh, in my presentation when I collect referrals is I ask a lot of questions about the referral. So if I go, so your brother's name is Joe Smith, his street address, I get that, the phone number, the city he's in, Brampton, Ontario, his birthday. Great. Now tell me, what's Joe's occupation? So I ask what his occupation is, whether he's single or married, and if he's married, what's the wife's name? Okay? And if they're married, do they have kids or not? Okay? So that puts me in a position where when I call Joe, I already know so much about Joe. I know that he's married to Kim, that he has two boys, a 15 and a 12 year old, and that he works for the City of Toronto doing garbage collection. Okay? It's a warm call. It's not a cold call at all. Okay? So this is how the phone, and I use the phone script here at the office. It's available in Adam's room. I'm just going to read it to you first. It says, referral phone presentation. Hello, is this Joe? Great, this is Byron from AIL. The reason for my call is we recently went to see Jim, your brother. He's a member of Local 183 Union. As a member of the union, certain benefits open up to him. One of them was uh, uh, an additional accident policy for $1,000 that he could include family and close friends at no additional cost. They chose to include you in this benefit. This has already been done for you at no additional cost. The reason I'm calling is, if something were to happen to you, we need to know who you would want as your beneficiary. In the relationship to you, that's when you're asking the question, there's a pause, they tell you. The relationship to you, wife, husband, brother, sister, parent, great, and your current address, now this script is asking for the address. If you've done a, a good job in the home, you will have um, you will have the address already because they told you that already, or at least the street name, okay? And then you go and close on the appointment. Now, what would be a good time to stop by and deliver your certificate so you can sign it and explain the benefits that you're entitled to? Could you please tell me what time you get home from work? So that's the referral presentation. When I am calling the referral, it's pretty much. 80 to 90 percent that I'm using this um, in this order too. I may just add my own personality into it where I may sound like, hello, may I speak to Joe please? Hi Joe, this is Byron. I'm calling you from American Income Life. It's in regards to a visit that I recently made to your brother, Jim. He belongs to the union as you know. Oh yes, he does. Yeah, Jim's union recently had a group enrollment where certain benefits opened up to him. One of the benefits, uh, Joe, was a thousand dollar accident policy that both Jim and Mary could extend to immediate family members at no cost and they chose to extend this to you. I'm calling you for two reasons Joe. One is to let you know that this has been done for you at no cost and two is to ask you who would you like to put down as beneficiary for this if something God forbid happens to you. Typically there's a pause there. Well you want to pause there actually. Now I count to three. One, two, three in my mind. If they don't come up with a name right away, I will then prompt the wife's name because I already know that. Because I knew from the referral that I collected it that his wife's name is Kim, right? So I said, Joe, you can put Kim down. That's your wife, correct? He'll go, yes, that is my wife, right? So I put Kim. Great. And then I'm just verifying the information I already have, okay? And there's a reason for that. If I know his address and I know his date of birth, and I verify that to him, he's going to tell me yes twice. So I'm going to say, so Joe, are you and Kim and the kids or the family still live at 30 Jubilee Court in Brampton? Yes. And your birthday, August 1st, 1963, is that correct? Yes. Would it be good if I stopped by tomorrow and deliver this to you and Kim and explain all the benefits that you're entitled to? Hopefully he'll say yes, and most of the time they do say yes, right? And that's when you go into closing the appointment, right? So, it's pretty much the referral presentation, form presentation that I use. 
Uh, that's why I do ask those additional questions uh, about him, right? Uh, what he does for a living, who his wife is, or husband, and whether they have children or not. Okay, once I'm in the home, I bring in Joe's certificate, and I prepare a folder just the same way you prepared for a union member, okay? Uh, you don't need to bring the letter in. I think we have it in my binder, so it's always with me anyway. And I go into the home with your folder. You make sure you have all the freebies that you're going to give him, okay? And you want to make sure that everything is prepared ahead of time. You bring your family information, guys. The presentation goes like this. I mean, you walk in. They know who you are. They know why you're there. You say, Joe, um, the reason I'm here today is, as I mentioned to you on the phone, Jim's Union had a group enrollment in which certain benefits opened up to the members. One of the benefits was this $1,000 accident policy that Jim had the ability to extend to his family. He actually put one on your mom and dad too, and one on yourself, Joe Smith, right? And that's pretty much why I'm here now, okay? Now, I work for American Income Life. We are a 100% unionized company, and we only work with unions. That's probably why you never heard from us before. Now, I do know you work for the City of Toronto, and that's unionized, isn't it? QP? Yeah, I don't think we've worked with QP before. However, we do work with many other construction trades uh, and, and uh, unions, okay? So the reason I'm here is once again to deliver this to you and activate it, give you other free benefits that you're entitled to thanks to your brother, and then explain an additional benefit plan that you and your family can participate in, provided you qualify, that that's going to be optional, okay? And it's going to take me another 10 or 15 minutes to take care of that, all right? If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I'll basically start the presentation at that point, given the accident certificate, given the CPP card, and then you go through the whole works again, right? CPP card, the eye care, the family information guide, and then you show them a plan for $25 a week, and, and that's how you do it, right? So then it becomes no different than, than a lead presentation, only that your credibility is established, this is a family member that sent you there, and that's why the closing ratio and retention for referrals is higher than it is for leads, okay? So that is my talk about referrals, and go out there and have fun.